Well, meantime, in Tennessee, a new bill would make the state one of the first in the country to offer benefits for those who quit or were fired over their company's vaccine mandate. News Nation's Gerald Harris from our Nashville station WKRN is live for us. So, Gerald, this is a GOP led legislation. Yeah, absolutely. And House Republicans here in Tennessee have been eager to stop or limit COVID-19 restrictions in the state. And this is their latest attempt. Now, the proposal by Representative Rusty Grills is being considered during the $900 million Ford Megasite special session. Under the bill, people who choose to leave employment because the employer required its employees to receive a vaccination are not disqualified from receiving unemployment benefits based on that choice. The bill also specifies that benefits will not be reduced or denied for quitting their jobs by refusing to take the vaccination. Democrats say the move translates to an additional tax on businesses. The House Speaker, however, argues the bill won't be a burden to businesses wanting to implement COVID safety strategies. I don't think the call says we're regulating or we're going to force a mandate. What it does give us the capability is to have those discussions about what other states have done, which would, whether it's Texas, Montana, Iowa, um, Florida, it gives us the availability to talk about different directions. You're going to tax small businesses even more than what they are already. So you're going to see more people go under. You already talk about wages are low, we can't find workers. And then now you're going to add a basically essentially another tax. Voluntarily quitting a job typically disqualifies someone from receiving unemployment. Now, many of the vaccine mandates, including the one from President Joe Biden, does offer for religious and health exemption, as well as frequent testing in replace of taking the shot. Back to you, Nicole.